Welcome back to Biological Anthropology. Uh, some of you are taking this class and it's called Physical Anthropology. This is lesson two, History of Evolutionary Thought. We are going to talk about uh, how scholars came up with ideas uh, around biological evolution and how life on Earth evolved. Included in these scholars is probably one of the most famous names in evolution, Charles Darwin. Uh, later in the lesson, we'll learn about modern evolutionary theory that came after Darwin and our conclusion. So in module one, we first explored the field of anthropology and we started focusing in on one of the most important concepts in this class, biological evolution. As you hopefully learned in your first assignment, biological evolution is a change in gene frequencies in a population over time. So for the rest of the semester, we're going to be looking into biological evolution in one way or another. We'll study that from different angles. Uh, some, in some ways, we'll look at this through um, primatology, studying our closest living relatives. Uh, later on, we'll look at fossils, uh, fossil hominins to learn about human evolution. But first, we need to look at the history of evolutionary thought and figure out how scientists figured this out. How did they discover evolution? And what did Charles Darwin have to do with this? So here it is, a history of evolutionary thought. All right. This is going to help us understand the topic and help us understand evolution by going through the thought processes of many early scholars. So during the era of European imperialism, explorers were exploiting foreign lands and discovering new life forms or, you know, different organisms or animals that they had not seen before. Scientists began trying to sort out all of these new species into different categories and rankings. Carolus Linnaeus developed the System of Naturae, or System of Nature, in 1735. This system involved the classification of organisms into kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So that should sound familiar to you if you have taken biology lately. Linnaeus also used a binomial nomenclature by using the genus and species classifications as an organism's scientific name, for example, Homo sapiens. As I said, Homo sapiens. This was all controversial because humans were classified along with other creatures in nature instead of apart from and over nature. In around the same period of time, just as exploration and exploitation were bringing about an awareness of the diversity of life across the globe, the Industrial Revolution was stimulating an awareness of changes in life forms through time. So the Industrial Revolution came quite a bit after the kind of heyday of imperialism. But this slide is meant to tell you that not only were people discovering different life forms around the globe, uh, there was lots of digging and mining happening during the Industrial Revolution. And people were so people weren't just discovering new things across the globe, but they were discovering them under the ground uh, through time as well. So they were just uncovering different species from the past. So naturalists and anatomists began developing possible explanations for these fossils. At first, the fossilized remains of elephants and saber-toothed tigers in Europe were interpreted according to religious doctrine. People assumed that these creatures were wiped out by the great flood described in the book of Genesis in the Bible. That was generally accepted that all life on earth had been created by God exactly as it existed in the present and that life forms could not and did not change. This belief became to be known as the fixity of species. George Cuvier, Cuvier was a French anatomist and paleontologist who developed the idea of catastrophism. So he figured that the best explanation for these different life forms that were extinct, that we had never seen before on Earth, were due to different uh, periods of creation and disaster uh, from God. So God must have had multiple creations and wiped them out. So catastrophism was a doctrine 
that explains that fossils in different layers of the earth existed because of repeated cataclysmic events and new divine creations. Of course, you can imagine that's not accurate scientifically, but he was trying to figure it out and he came up with that idea. 